Hey guys, and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use HD Watch 1080p with night vision. Uh, we have actually two models that we have. Um, this is one of them. We have similar one, look more like a G-Shock type. And I will walk you, walk you through today uh, the differences between both of them. So let's start with how I record a video. To start recording a video, I'm going to turn on the watch, clicking on the on off switch, I'm going to press and hold it and there's going to be a blue light on number 12 that only the user can see. So if I want to start a video what I'm going to do is just one click and the light is going to flash three times and shut off. Right now I'm recording video and sound so if I'm going to switch the watch to this angle I'm basically recording right now I gadget small hidden cameras. I'm recording the computer to save the video, what I'm going to do, I just click again and that's it, I save the video. If I want to take a snapshot, a picture, what I, get a net, what I need to do is click one time on the mode switch and the light is going to turn to red. Red means photos. So in order for me to take a snapshot, I just need to click, there it goes, photos. To shut off, I'm going to press and hold the on-off switch until the light will shut off. Now, if I'm recording a video and I want to turn on a night vision mode, if you're going to look close, you're going to see that number 8 till number 4, we placed IR infrared LEDs that are going to work really well in night time. So we, how, how we actually open those uh, uh, infrared lights? Once the watch recording video, I'm going to press and hold the mode switch for two seconds and then it's going to turn on the night vision mode and we're going to take a look on a video in a few seconds. What is the others button? This here is to tune the time. Right here you can see a tiny microphone and this is where I'm going to plug the watch in a second to show the video. Now the differences between this watch and the G-Shock watch is that in order for me to record video with the G-Shock type, um, I'm going to press and hold the same button, but look what happened. What's going to happen is that the dish is going to flash, which means I have to press and hold only one time in order for me to record. Right now I'm recording video with the G-Shock watch. In order for me to save the video, I'm going to have to click two times on the same button. One and two. I just saved the video. And again, pressing and holding it, it's going to Turn the power off. Now let's watch the video. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to have this cable that we give you. It's a cable that have one end that we actually plug here to the watch, and I'm gonna show you right now. And the other end, the USB, I'm gonna go to the computer. So I'm gonna unscrew this button here, make sure not to lose it. It's tiny. And I'm gonna plug in the cable to the watch. Now let's watch the video. What I'm doing now, I'm transferring the video to my desktop and you can actually see two pictures and one video, that's what we did. And just double click on the video and you can watch it and shut off. Right now I'm recording video and sound. If I'm going to switch the watch to this angle, I'm basically recording right now. I, got I had to aim it a little more down to get the TV and this is something that comes with practice. I'll show you another video that I did with the watch and you can see the quality. It's a fun video we did on an airplane. And you can check the quality during the daylight. So you can record that it's 1080p HD and let's watch a night vision video In this video I took the watch and put it under a drawer and you can see all the boxes very very clear 